example, it's an integer indice uh, limit, I guess you might say. So we're talking about expressions like this, the cube root of three, uh, just a few examples. Uh, and hopefully that looks like something that's getting closer to a one, right? And maybe even something like the 78th root of 78. Just making up numbers, folks. But they are natural number indices and natural number uh, radicands, okay? Now, it's fairly believable that this particular limit would tend to one, but we're going to make it very formal right here. Okay. Now, it turns out it's more useful to write it like this. At least I think so. If we can establish that this limit is equal to zero, that's equivalent. You can do algebra on limits, so that would be equivalent to this limit directly above it. Now, it's also useful to write this down, and you'll see that the binomial expansion really, really helps us right here. Uh, notice, uh, just for example, right here, uh, you could write this. This binomial coefficient can also be written as uh, n choose 2. Okay, n uh, choose 2. Okay, now this actually ends up being fairly easy because it's clear that that's a single term in the expansion. So the entire expansion has to be greater than, this is probably strictly if you had to say say something about it, it more more strong. I don't know why they, greater than or equal to is what I've seen in analysis books, but to me it would be strict right here. Now notice also that because of this statement right here, when you square this object right here, square the, uh, not square it, uh, raise it to the nth power, I'm sorry. When you raise it to the uh, nth power, and then you raise this guy to the nth power also. Uh, this is just equal to n, right? Okay, and so that means this part right over here is equal to n. All right, now uh, from here, what we can do, folks, is just a little bit of algebra right here. If we divide through by this, uh, let's see, let me write this down for you. Uh, so I believe you end up right here, and again, you guys can check the, the uh, algebra here. You'll end up with 2 over n minus 1. Okay, like this, and that'll be uh, less than or equal to uh, a sub n squared, okay? And again, folks, what I did right here is I just multiplied through by the reciprocal, the n's cancel. And so what you have here is a sub n quantity squared is less than or equal to this expression right here. Now we can write it from left to right if you want to, then also uh, take the square root at the same time. That will lead to uh, a sub n. And this is the more conventional way to write this, is less than or equal to uh, the square root of 2 over n minus 1. Okay. But y'all notice here that our a sub n is this object right here. And if we can show that this limit is equal to zero, we, we will have proven our result here. And this clearly, um, this definitely uh, tends to zero. Uh, a sub n definitely uh, approaches zero, right? Um, let me see if I have room here. As n approaches infinity. And I'll just use the standard error notation, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So that's because if n gets large right here, this denominator gets large and you're getting something that approaches the square root of zero. So we've shown that a sub n approaches zero, but remember that's exactly what we set out to do uh, right here. This is your a sub n. We just, we've just shown that this tends to zero. Okay. This expression tends to zero, but if this tends to zero, then um, <clears throat> the original limit also 
uh, the root root n uh, of n has to tend to one as n gets large. So I don't have it all on one screen, but hopefully uh, that's that's clear enough. So this actually uh, this is would be at this stage right down here. We we could write down QED and hope. Let me get see if I can get it all on the screen here for you. There we go, and y'all hopefully, so we've showed that that expression tends to zero. Uh, here is that expression right here, but again, that's exactly equivalent if you work it all the way back to, to proving this result right here. So anyway, I hope that made sense. Hope uh, I should figure out a way to keep it more. It, I don't know a better way to do it, though, actually. So anyway, I hope you guys like that. Take care.